Heidi ho it's Tarot Toad, and I have been missing in action for a while. Um, I haven't posted any videos in quite some time. I've been very busy, but have really missed my tarot videos and committed to get back in the saddle and record some more content. For today's video, I am going to show you cards, tarot cards, that depict sexy times. And then in future videos, we'll talk about tarot cards for work and career. So what I'm gonna do is flip the camera around and I'm gonna show you some cards that I picked out to depict tarot for sexy times. And we're gonna see what you think, if you agree with me. Um, with some of these. And again, tarot is what you make it. So when I look at this card and I'm thinking about a question about a sexual, a, a question of a sexual nature, you know, my mind goes right to something, if you know what I mean. So, <laughs> You can take things literally, right? So we're gonna see how that works with these tarot cards. So let's go, tarot cards for sexy times. So let's start with the Knight of Wands. When you look at this, what do you think of? When I think of the wands, I think of the phallic symbol and also the reds and yellows seem fiery to me. There's a passionate energy on this card. The horse is reacting to him like you're going to follow my will. There's just a fiery, rugged, handsome energy to this card. Another card of sexy times, I think is the Eight of Wands. It's, um, like fast, it's down and dirty. Maybe you're too quick on the draw and you're finishing too quick. Um, maybe it could represent group sex. The Ace of Wands, it could imply a solitary encounter, if you know what I mean. Um, it could represent a one night stand or maybe something that you get in place of sex. Um, it could represent their first encounter. It could just be coming in with an offering of passion and implies some sort of new challenge or new sexual adventure. Could represent a dick pic. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, if you just look at this um, at face value, you see what I mean. The Ace of Cups, it's like you're overflowing with emotion or love. Perhaps it represents feeling youthful or young womanhood or virginity. A spiritual connection or divine counterpart. The water coming out of the cup could represent you peeking, if you know what I mean. So I think it could represent a new love or a new relationship coming in. Yes, the devil, um, all the normal things that you would think of, giving in to your desire, uh, temptation, lust, um, addicted to the rush that you get, when you're in a relationship. It could be like exploring fantasies. Also sexual manipulation or promiscuity. What else do you think the devil represents? It could represent a little bit of um, S&M kind of stuff here. It could be exploring fantasies. The Ace of Pentacles, when I look at this one, I'm thinking of uh, use birth control. You know, we're holding on to the pill. 
<laughs> um, it could mean you're finally getting your first date. It could also be using your hands in a way. It could mean fertility. The Four of Swords, how does this depict sexy times? Um, maybe it represents um, kind of the boring aspects of your sex life. Because they don't look completely happy and don't look like they're enjoying it. Um, it could be recovery afterwards. It could be a warning. Or maybe... Um, representing monogamous relationships. And oh, you know what I'm gonna say about this one. <laughs> um, we're talking maybe group sex, swinging, could be promiscuity, could be girls night out. Also three's a crowd or all's fair in love and more. The Empress is all about fertility and beauty and sensuality. So she looks very comfortable in this card. Um, she's very comfortable with her sexuality. And she's inviting you in. Temperance could represent the exchange of you know what, you know what during the act the exchange of fluids, also dipping your toe into the waters of the unknown. And I don't know why this seems like an explosive looking thing. Um, first, when I looked at this, I thought it was a volcano, but it looks like a sun coming up from behind, but uh, Again, it's like, what do you see in relation to the question about a sexual relationship? Um, the cards can give us clues just by looking at them, um, just in a very subjective way. The Eight of Swords, again, we know that she is kind of looking like she's trapped, but it's really being trapped in the mind. Um, this could represent, for sexy times, a little bondage play. It could represent being caught up in your mind about a relationship, um, feeling stuck in a relationship. And of course, there's the lovers. You can take this at face value. You know, the lovers represents the union between two people, um, bringing in love and sensuality between two people. Um, this is always a good card to get when you're talking about love um, and relationships. And then if you wanna know you're having a really good time and you pull this card, the sun is telling you that it's just telling you are full of vitality and fun and happiness and joy. So that's the best sexy times are when they're filled with that. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna ask a question. Should I have relations with Joe tonight? Should I have relations with Joe tonight? And we pick these two cards. What do we think that means? When I see this, I'm like, you're going to have a great time, but you better use some protection, girl. It's going to be fun. It's going to be playful. You're going to have a joyous outcome. It could represent your fertility. So again, be careful. Don't rely on just one type of protection. Um, but it's a good foundation. And then how about this one? What will my potential sex life be with Jason? And we get these two cards. What will my potential sex life be with Jason? <laughs> 
I don't know about you, but uh, I don't know if that looks real good. Um, he looks like he's pretty controlling, maybe a little bit of a narcissist. Um, maybe playing the game, playing games with other people, or maybe hiding something. Honestly, when I look at this, I'm thinking he doesn't care much about what the woman thinks or wants. What do you get from this? Now we have a question. What fears does Mara have about a sexual relationship with me? So we put the cards down. What does she fear about having a sexual relationship? Well, uh, the moon definitely represents confusion and maybe misunderstanding. Uh, this could represent fear of not being accepted, maybe fearful of her own desires. Maybe she's afraid that she is just going to be one of his many one night stands. Maybe the devil represents fear of not being accepted. She definitely finds him attractive, but there's fear but she feels magnetic toward him. Maybe she's afraid of losing herself. So that creates the confusion. Or she could be in the relationship and feels like she's the cheater. What do you think? What did you get from this? Well, that was it. I hope you enjoyed this rendition of cards for sexy times. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, give it a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Toodaloo. Toodaloo.